what were the speakers that stood out? Cause we've already talked about one of them, um, who asked the question about pricing. Um, what was another speaker that you talked that, that talked at the, uh, at the presentation and really resonated with you, whether it was a question or even just a statement? Yeah, there's a couple. Um, One, Mercedes Zapata, I have Mm -hmm. to know her. She's actually an ex-roommate. We Mm -hmm. lived together, but she was also coincidentally on the panel. Mm -hmm. And she's awesome. Um, Mm -hmm. She was just talking about the the experience of being a a photographer, but also an artist, Mm -hmm. um, where sometimes it's easy for people to put you in a box you know, mm-hmm. and just um, I think when me and her lived together, it was a very comfortable space of like an open art space. Like, mm-hmm. OK, yeah, we may get paid mostly for being photographers, but ultimately we're also writers mm-hmm. and we're also painters and whatever it yeah. is that we want to do. Yeah, whatever and, you want to create. You're yeah, creators. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think um, she she talked about that and just creating not putting yourself in a box really and just mm-hmm. creating yourself however way you want to create yourself and i just i love that she even i think i can quote her uh, she said you know you create our own universes i think so mm-hmm. she said maybe it's not exactly but along those lines yeah <laughs> and we do we really do yeah. um i think all artists create a universe with their art so i'm going to give a couple examples so logic as a, as a rapper literally created a universe that is like the canon of his albums where it's like they have these people on a spaceship talking about how they listen to logic's album and whatever you know and so that literally that's cool. i didn't that, know that yeah it's literally like a universe um and then meanwhile you also have some you know like let's say justin roiland the creator of rick and morty and he's created that universe that people can live in and so it doesn't matter whether it's music or TV or movies or even video games. Those are entire universes that you get to occupy and play in as the avatar of the character and all that. So to me, art as a form is almost like an introduction to step into somebody's universe. You know, you get to see inside the mind of the creator when you go through these type of experiences because it's their DNA is written all over everything. Like everything that they've made has who they are, all their experiences, all the people that they've met in their life is all woven into the thing that you're creating, ideally, if you're doing it well and you're integrating it. Right, right. That's so beautifully put, the way you you put it that way, because it (laughs) is. I mean, I guess in in a sense I do say it like that, but it's a beautiful perspective because it it actually really really is true. Mm -hmm. Like really, you Yeah, you're seeing it. Yeah, you're seeing it. You're seeing their universe. You're, You're getting a window into their mind. Yeah. And yeah. especially writers. Writers is like, that's a direct doorway. Yeah. You read somebody's book, you will know who that person is, at least in that field or that topic. You know, that's um, why I always say Stephen King trips me out. Oh, God. Because yeah. his mind is wild. Fucked like, up. <laughs> man, like, are you sure you're not like a psychopath killing people and right? doing all these weird things? There's a bunch of unsolved murders There's with his bu- name on it. <laughs> right. And he's just like writing, you know, these books like about gory stuff to like deflect it. But really, it's his real life or something. Right. Hopefully not. But I'm just like, and just to may- say, though. Yeah, maybe he's just interested in those things. But it is a weird thing to be obsessed with. Right. It's he, a weird thing to be obsessed really... with. And he's cranked out a lot of books, too. He's cranked out a lot of he's books. A, lot, a of books. lot. Too many. And it's a lot of imagination and a lot of crazy, tripped out imagination. I mean, mm-hmm. shit, it. Just, that's it. Like, if just to say one, for example. And if you actually read the book or see the book, it's huge. It's really thick. Yeah. It's really thick. Yep. And it goes so much more in depth than what's in the movie. And it's yeah, a lot more twisted. There's some, like, fucked up, like, kids fucking each other or yeah, something thing yeah, yeah. i know I, I remember that controversy yeah that's <laughs> i don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> right i'm like damn stephen king like it's tripped out but wow like, like i mean it's creative but also why are you thinking about that <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. right right yeah. and like also it's interesting that all his books i didn't know this until recently are all tied to the same location to the same like small town in the northeast no i didn't know and if you i don't know it was like this thing or if you actually look at like his movies they all he at least once in his books he mentions this location and i never really tied it together i I wonder if that location was a like an important moment in his life you know what I mean? Like a, a moment that scarred him forever. Right. And then that's I mean, what it must have been. That's like the city. That's shit. like the place he goes to these dark, twisted places. Yeah. That inspires him to get down that dark path. I mean, that's his, that's his universe. 
Yeah. Right there in his writing. It's twisted. But it's it's his universe. Yeah. And you're getting to see within that dark, twisted mind of his. And it's yeah. a, I mean, and it's an intelligent mind. It's, it's written a bunch of great books. So it's obviously impressive, but uh, it's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> a little trippy. 